We are now actually in the Arctic Circle area in Rovaniemi city in Finland. This Christmas fantasy show telling about the Finnish culture, how we celebrate Christmas, what kind of stories we have, and of course the biggest story, story about Santa Claus. You can see with our, our factory it says that we are the official knife factory of Santa Claus. Finnish children go to Boy Scouts a lot, for example, and they all have their own knives and they do really go outside to the nature and they really use the knives to make up the fires and everything, so... It's part of our mental structure where we are living within forests. Our economy is quite a lot based on, on forest and forest products. In Romaniemi the nature starts, well, mostly five minutes from your door. People are going fishing and, and also hunting and, and just like me, for example, going out like hiking in the nature. So then you need to, need to be able to make up your fire, so you carve your wood and prepare your lunch and meal and sausages and everything with the knife. Types of music that's very popular, that's uh, for once that's metal heavy metal and, and uh, hip-hop. Those are two big, big things and uh, those bands got, uh, got the best ways to make it. Our institute is quite unique, at least in the size and, and the wideness of, of the scope. We study or make research of everything related to forests and forestry. We start from, from the biological, very biological issues, but also forests as a product, for example, for, for tourism and, and things like that, recreation. It is very important that people really understand what are the issues in the North, because they are effect, affecting the life in other parts of the globe in many ways. And this is a very unique environment and are very very fascinating with Santa Claus, Northern Lights. In winter time the well the days are shorter but because we have the snow and we have the bit of the light we've got uh, these things called blue light so during the day you can see all the different tones of blue. That's something very special here. You know there's uh, some uh, darker twist in, in, in that music. Dark. Dark. dark uh, no, no light. No light. Yeah, darkness from, from morning to, to night. Rovaniemi is a really fast growing city, and that's mainly because of our uh, educational, um, our universities mainly. Stockholm someday last I want to make a perfect song. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm chasing for. Yeah, you know, make it yeah, better, better and better every time. I've been in a long time Now where the hell have you been? I, I, I don't have some uh, some bigger goals so, uh, that I want to want to make a living out of it or, or something like that. I'm, I'm pretty happy the way things are. Right? There are pressures that you perhaps may not notice when you come here. With mining, forestry, the land use. So we had to find ways how to combine these hot land use issues. Most of the money is coming from the paper, pulp and paper industry and, and then timber in industry. The policy of Finland has been for decades that there must be more new forest growing than you can cut. So that's how you make it sustainable, that you plant more than you cut. This sustainability is, is in a way the basic line there. Most of the knife handles that we make are made of, uh, of curly birch. And curly birch is a special kind of birch 
that grows in certain places only and it has this unique texture so that they always look different. You can never have two of the same. We are cutting 70 million cubic meters annually or even more than that. And our forests are still growing 100 million cubic meters annually. So. The scientists claim that the change in the climate can be seen uh, stronger in the Arctic than other places. And also the climate change together with globalization it's opening new economical activities, economical possibilities. The ice is melting in the, in the Arctic Ocean so uh, it will be possible within next 20 years to sail via the northern sea route from Europe to Asia. That will put us a lot closer to the world markets than we have actually ever been. Out of field. That might be difficult, yeah. Yeah, there, there, there are so, so many bands out there. Most part of our knives go to export, so even though Finland is a, is a heavy using <laughs> country, we can say, but, but we've got uh, some important uh, clients and countries in Europe. That's a big reason to be, uh, be marking it with the, with the dot .eu sign as well. Yeah, in Lapland, this area combines the European Union and the Arctic. And since we have a university here with international ambitions and an Arctic Research and Information Institute, it's a very good combination and it really Matters. What we believe is that Rovaniemi is the right place to have the Arctic capital city of Europe. So this is also the right place for the Arctic Information Center. We can play a big role in this discussion. We can help. We can facilitate it. I'm probably a Lapish girl, yeah. <laughs> That's it, because I was born here and this is my home, so I'm a Lapish girl, yeah. Because the, the union is our enlarged uh, uh, home country. Uh, it's, it's, I, I say it's, it's our enlarged in, independence. It's uh, well, the way of life, the, the attitude towards everything, and we are not in a, in a hustle and bustle and hurry and that thing. We are laid back, relaxed, happy people here. We are both. Uh, citizens of, of our own countries and citizens of the European Union. I'm a European as well. I love languages and I speak um, many of them. So. <laughs>